It's important to embrace innovation in all that we do in research, teaching, and service. Universities play a very important role if we are looking to the needs of society. We're there through to help solve those problems. Traditionally, it has been students come and sit in the classroom and we lecture to them. Today, we have to be creative and innovative in meeting students where they're at, not just in location, but in the way that they learn. And so we have to bring technology and the desires of the learner together to recreate the university of today. An example of that is right in the Tandy building, downstairs on the first floor with a simulated hospital setting. The students are learning to do uh, procedures, surgery, in an environment that is very realistic. Healthcare administration, it's one of the largest graduate programs in the OSU system. And that's because those programs, they're teaching online, but they're teaching in a way that engages students and gives them as much as they possibly can of the classroom feel, but in an environment that gives them the flexibility to get an education in the way that they need it. What can we do to get the right students? The students that help us fulfill our land grant mission, help us fulfill our mission to serve the underserved and rural populations. And so we've created programs like Blue Coat to White Coat program where we're going out and we are searching for those rural youth and we're mentoring them from the high school level all the way through until they're practicing back in their communities. ECHO is a perfect example of how Extension started, but now it has evolved through technology that we don't have to have that building in order to connect to the people who are in underserved areas. The ECHO platform allows us to share our medical knowledge from our specialist with providers and patients across the state of Oklahoma. At the OSU Center for Health Sciences, we don't just want to be a state leader in research, we want to be a national, world-recognized leader. And a couple of examples where we have the opportunity is our Center for Wellness and Recovery, looking at opioid addiction, and the Center for Health Systems Innovation. The Center for Wellness and Recovery is looking at, you know, how, one, how do we deliver that care? How do we give physicians the knowledge to know the difference between a patient who can take opioids and not get addicted versus the ones that are at high risk? Is it science within the brain? At the Center for Health Systems Innovation, looking at what are ways to improve care in rural and underserved locations. In the future, by looking at big data, we can say, we can look at that person in the eyes and say, you are going to develop retinopathy. We're getting you into an ophthalmologist today. We are always striving to have a culture of innovation at the OSU Center for Health Sciences. And by encouraging faculty to have the freedom to think outside the box, to push the bounds of what we know today, they're inspiring the next generation. This is an exciting time for faculty members and staff members and students to be engaged in innovation. Our leadership have enabled all of us to focus on innovation, to focus on new ways and better ways of delivering our educational products. I was attracted to this institution, not only because I trained here and felt like I belonged here, but the tremendous amount of support for innovative research and clinical services really has allowed me to flourish and to treat patients differently, to research things differently, to the point where I really feel like I'm making a difference. We have an obligation to encourage innovation and to solve most pressing issues for Oklahomans. At the OSU Center for Health Sciences, innovation starts here.